driverless technology, all the buzz here at CES in Las Vegas. We saw what Ford has, what Audi has here, the tech company Valio. They work with all the kinds of automakers working on that driverless technology, so the car drives itself. Again, it's a little eerie seeing that wheel move. You know, it's like something from the haunted mansion, but uh, uh, again, this is uh, developing technology to where you can have your own valet uh, so you don't have to worry about parking the vehicle, it parks itself. The idea of driverless cars is pretty fascinating, especially that the technology is there now. They could be making these today. The problem is they don't think that anybody wants to buy them. There's a lot of questions that need to be answered before these can become really commonplace, and they need to be proven to be very, very safe. Because as soon as they appear on the roads, everybody is basically opting into this. It's not like I buy a driverless car and I'm the only one who has to make that decision. Now everybody else is driving around dealing with a driverless car too. And if other people aren't comfortable with that idea, that's obviously a problem. Because the more technology that goes in cars, the more people are concerned about distractibility. The moment that it jumps the shark to letting go of the steering wheel, that's a different, you know, people will not believe that the car can drive better than them.